We're in an interesting spot the other day because we were casting, um, what, the Boston versus LAG series. And, you know, you and I, like, even when we were off camera, we're talking, like, I can't tell if, like, Boston's so bad or, like, LAG is actually playing really well. And at the end, we were like, Boston, or sorry, LAG was playing well. Like, they were. It was just well, then clean. they, next day, they 3 0 Yeah, and then that, like, sort of backed up, I think, what we thought. It was like, holy, but uh, right into it. Hoop the noob. Looking to slow down this run from LAG as they're on back to back 3 0s. It's a 4 0 start for Hoop, though, before he drops. I mean, this is, uh, I, I think maybe if you looked at the vetoes and had a question mark, it's probably this map. Uh, it's 6 0 for Seattle Surge. Now, LAG have been getting better at it, 2 0 in this major or throughout this stage, but yeah, you've been undefeated. You've taken down some top dogs. This is probably one of, yeah, one of the maps Hoop's best on. Uh, he, he really struggled yesterday, so good start there for Hoop. This has been a, this is going to be a wild finish. I mean, it just felt like we finally had an idea of what was going on, and now everyone's improving. Teams we thought were dead in the water are improving. We've got a wild ride here over our last two days and then into the major. But right now, for the final couple of seconds for the hard point pops, we'll take a look at this next setup. It'll be LAG inside for a moment, but the cutoff will get locked down. Flame's going to have to go clutch. Not able to do it. It's a two-man push. It's there for Seattle Surge. Gonna lock this down right now. You see Brezzy locking down the middle of the map, so he's just making sure. Well, hopefully he's gonna buy enough time to get to Estriel. There we go. So he's gonna deal with a couple of players. Fame is up next. Fame's gonna catch him, but a nice trade. Well, not really a nice trade. A good trade for Seattle there yeah. from Diamond John. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, you said nice trade. I just looked at the kill feed. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice trade for Seattle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works out, but uh, still. Very tight one, Abuza. He's on five straight though at seven and three. Watching Diamond Comp for the moment, Abuza just dropped. So no streak through for him. Next hard point, up in 10. We'll see how control will go. So far you have the left side of the map locked down. If you are LAG, the lead changes through. You've gone out in front. Now what are you seeing, Joe? Because the play is trying to be made here for Seattle Surge. Well, it's really, I mean, LAG, I, you had the rotation, but then they lose a couple of players near P1, and now they're actually it's spawned out. So a nice surge on through by Seattle. They're going to find four kills in a row. Flames feels like we see so many players in this position time and time again. He's actually found one, hit a stun, now playing his life. Seattle, though, still with the close spawns. Diamond Child, though, going to repinch this. Just can his teammates stay alive so he can get there? Estriel trying, but the Tiki bar a little bit too much. Not able to get the shots on through. And Hook popping off like he did right at the start of the game. 11 and 7 for him. We know how streaky he can be. I feel like there's a player you want to maybe get a hot start. It is him. He might carry that through the map. Yeah, I mean, you get a four dead there for LAG. So now Seattle Surge on this rotation. But yeah, I mean, Hook, just be, this map's just kind of simple, I think, at times for him. It's just sort of run forward. And there's a lot of the times it's finesse around the hill. Honestly, having the wor the bad spawn isn't always the worst thing. True, true. It's definitely developed since we first saw it enter the league, but it is Seattle Surge inside and fighting, trying to push out this 30-point lead. Number six, a chance for 04, but kind of the same side of a gunfight we saw earlier. Just a difficult one there with the wooden post. Can't quite win it. And now LAG starting to push forward, try to get inside. Hook trying to get the damage through, and he's able to do just that. It's been a great stretch here from Seattle Surge. Gorilla's trying to do all they can, though. Yeah, trying to keep just pressure through the front side of this hill. That's still the next player up. Just trying to put nades on it, but the trophies are there. Then Hook off spawn right back to work <laughs> with a triple as Hook the new continues to go off on the map. Now just trying to get across the map with their teammates, but he will have to slow down. So 10 seconds left. You built yourself a really solid lead off this P3 and P4. Can you break it into a P5? Hook 16 and 10 right now. Coming out hot from the get-go. Four straight now. Teammates got that one. His POV is flowing, moving, and grooving. Five straight. Up to 18, just dominating. He might be able to get the streak. We're going to hop over to the angle from Brezzi for a second to see if he can pick it up. The stun's not going to matter. He's still able to snap and get the kill. So there's number six on the streak for who? Nice sequence. Yeah, I mean, he's able to push that out. There was one player off spawn. The rest of LAG were on the opposite side of the map. <laughs> But there will be three dead. <laughs> I just turned and I saw Chris with the broom just, just sweeping up confetti. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just. That, I don't remember what I was saying. That, <laughs> that image just got me good.
Looks good with a broom in his hands. Great stuff, Chris. But doubling up their opponents now is Seattle Surge. Diamond Tom with a double. Flames there too. Every time you've got a nice swing, so the hook has broken it up. Now you get four down. We get into our second set of rotations. This is where you really got to improve your gorillas. Got to get a better set here. Yeah, they don't read that spawn though right away. You had Diamond Town pushing out. He's on five in a row. Great life for him. But yeah, this is how you get right back into the game if you are LAG. But flying on through are the submachine ooh, guns, but ooh. it's all MCW kills in the feed there. And now you do have a cruise missile. Yeah, I mean, you basically had like, everybody negative from gorillas. Like, they were getting bodied. They were the blender of it. Now, you know, you get a couple of four downs. The guns are starting to heat up. This is where you improve your team that's improved. You're on back-to-back 3-0s. You're surging right now. Can you keep it going to elicit him with LAG? Yeah. Maybe. You get, you get. I rolled, I rolled. It was 0 4 Find that, find that. 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 He's our yeah, side, our side time, our side time. Triangle our side time, uh, guys. Mid, mid, I got to mid, I'm wide. Mid, middle, middle, mid, 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 Water stuff, water stuff, absolute. He's lying in the open, wind it up. Two middle, two middle, I got it. Bow, Randy, bow, Randy, bow, Yo, bow, yeah, I need to bow, I need to bow, I need to bow. Kyle, over here, low right, low left, low left. I already heard you, I'll get caught, I'll get caught. Bow, 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 Friends up, friends up. Yeah, they're side blue, they're side blue. No one low, I'm holding low. Near their side. That's the mid, that's the mid, I'm holding low. Where's the absolute Brizzy? Heavy low, heavy low, heavy low. Yeah, I'm gonna try to set up and pitch and save. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. Cap here. Cap this one, Cap here. One top out. Top dead. Yo, middle, middle, Kyler hitting you middle. He's right down, red steps, red steps, guys. He's pushing you. Yeah, red steps, red steps, red steps. too old. Brezzy and Ofer are older. Maybe what's going on the row? Oh, yeah, Ofer trying to hold. Get my low, get my low. I'm on the row. I have to get top burger push out. Yeah, they're playing to burger. They're playing to burger. I top burger. They're going to go low. They're going to go low. Top burger. One mid. I'm going to go low. I'm going to go back right with you. Two mid, two mid, two mid. Two mid, hurry to hear I'm trying to close my uh, Towards Ivy. Was already close time. Oh, he's already on me, dude. Fine stuff, fine stuff. Fine stuff. Fine stuff. Fine I have a trick, I have a trick, I have a trick. Trying low, trying low. I found out. Pop burger, playing your spawners. Weak on the bridge. He went P1, he went P1. Yeah, deep. I'm going to go I'm going to streak. Trying to get cafe control. He did P1, I think. I'm streaking. Got you, got you, got you. Going to the death. In cafe, one, two time, and one selling. He's on the death. He's on the death. One low art, one low art, too. Low art, and back in the back locking. I think killers just shot out low art. Low art, low art, weak Kyler. I'm trying to I'm push down the back, bro. I'm coming by the back. They flip, they flip, they flip. I still push up. Back steps, back steps, so far. And we'll push up. Low art, low art. Push up, Rose. He's in the cafe. Unless he went rail. Back bar, back bar. Back bar, back bar. Killers, killers, killers. I need to play. Killers, killers, killers. He's our close art, says he laid out close art. Alright, sure, I got you. Might move now. And back steps, back steps, Rose. He's two different guy, different guy. I stole one right, I stole one right. I'm playing on the day, I'm playing on the day. Nice. Jump in, I'm trying to go through. I'm trying to go through like Vine, Vine, Don C. Trying to play for like your red. Well, Gorillas, they were looking back to answer a third, but uh, the comms are flying. You end up losing the player in the hard point. Things fall apart, and suddenly you're down eight. Yeah, I mean, I mean, cool, calm, collected comms from LAG. Uh, it's just, yeah, I mean, Seattle, they found back to back brace at that P2 and then transitioned into that P3. It's what they did the first time through that. It's why they're holding on to this 80 point lead. LAG, we're bringing it back, but both sides use a cruise missile, so no more really to work with. Now LAG just trying to soak up as much time as they can to get back into the game. Yeah, I mean, it's one good break, one good hold, and they're all right, but do you get busted open again? You do. Four fly on through, and this is still a healthy chunk of time. About 25 remaining on that objective clock when they burst on in. You can get so close to a victory here. That feels like you needed to hold that and win a big rotation if you were Gorillas. Yeah, that's why they're putting pressure on the hill still, but they're losing the gunfights. You see the rest of the teammates from Diamond Town already rotating, so... Yeah, you're hoping maybe to contest a little bit, maybe find that player on the hill as you win the rotation. Estriel will lock this down. We've seen crazier things happen on this map, though. Joining this P5, connected it to a P1. We've seen it, but it's going to be very difficult. Let's see if they can do it. Gorilla's going to need an absolutely heroic stretch here to get back into it. One's already dropped. It's Flames that'll fall behind the hoop nade. A force picked up another. The two more mini players got to go nuts. And Abuza with a little, little 180 sauce there to get the kill. You still have somebody deep in Diamond Con, but you've done enough here. If you're Seattle Surge, you've erupted, broken in through the front, got some time, got the contest. Made sure it's not clean sequence. 
for Gorillas. Yeah, and then uh, you also just saw 04. He's got another cruise. So he was able to earn a cruise over towards that P2 life. Just going to go for it. They know they just need six seconds. We'll deal with Flames on the backside. But Fame is right back into it. Same with Diamond Gun. So you might get this to a P1 if you are LAG. It's looking like they're going to get to the P1. But then, I mean, we're at perfection point. You've got to be perfect. Hook is still centering everywhere he needs to. That is filthy. Eight HP, back-to-back -back headies, then at Brezzy kills Hook and himself. And maybe you give an opening here. That actually ends up being, we'll see. You know, you only need three points if you're Seattle. But that team kill could end up costly. It looks like it's not going to. Never mind. Thought maybe. Maybe that'd be a little bit of a sus moment. Well, the problem with that is what we just saw yesterday with the propane. So when you have a suicide penalty like that, you are also on a 15-second respawn delay. Perfect. So Brezzy was out of the fight for 15 seconds there. But who was it at the end? Abuzi just walks on up, able to win that gunfight. Finishes it out, but there was a chance there with that team kill. It, it, honestly, if it's something where they needed like 20, 30 points, I mean, maybe we have a late rally. But the fact they needed three, because they were able to break in, what? At four, disrupt that time, same at five. I mean, you got a lot of breaks if you were Seattle Surge. You had your opportunities for big holds if you're Gorillas. You just couldn't set up and hold. Yeah, and I mean, the reason why you got so many breaks is number one. Uh, yep. I mean, I see this guy, he's just going to run at you. No, no, when I saw that first sequence where you start out 4 0, like, I was like, okay, well, who's going to fry this map? Like, he, I, I think that's, they're now 7 0 on Vista. I mean, he's a big reason why. I yeah. Mean, this just map to him makes sense. He can finesse it. It's just sort of straight line. Gunny. And you've had that in your career, right? Like, I know it's been a minute, but like, you just always had maps that, I don't know, came easier? Just yeah. felt more naturally as Fry on? No, no, no doubt about it. I think every, every player's got, yeah, maps favorites. It, yeah. Favorites. They just get into their flow a little bit more, and this man was in it the entire time. How many times did it feel like he got like a triple? Like, so many times he busted apart an entire setup. A fantastic map there from Hook. Ends up with 35. He can be streaky, he's been on and off, but God, when he's in his bag and he's playing well, one of the scariest players in the league. Not someone you want running at you when they're feeling. No, I, and, and again, it's just sort of, yeah, comes back to, the, to those vetoes, right? LAG, they've been getting better at this stuff, but I think going into the major, no matter who you are, probably want to veto this one against Seattle Search. And that was one of the things, I mean, I thought early on, it felt like, a lot of the new maps for some of the top teams, it just felt like it just helped them. Like, they were still ahead because, you know, some of the four teams hadn't even figured out some of the earlier maps. Yeah. But now it's starting to get to the point where all these teams are improving. It's behind some of that, behind some of the six-star improvements, behind some of the improvements here on Vista. A big one for Seattle Surge. There was, I mean, a little, some back and forth moments for sure. You had chances if you were LAG, but relatively comfortable you're like you're always up in the 50-ish range yeah i think really like that second p1 in the, in the p2 that is maybe your chance but you go from 103 to 125 over three hills so that's just where seattle surge had a couple of big breaks kept their lead and yeah 04 went on another six spree had that streak then to, to close out the game absolutely did uh now we get ready for six star search and destroy as we continue on karachi control to follow and rio and karachi if needed but you're just looking for a win here. I mean, you're talking about one team who's been trending up massively as of late with LAG because they got the two three O's. Uh, on the other side for Seattle, I think in general, you'd say trending, trending up, yeah. but like kind of trending down lately is because the map five losses, but it's like map five losses. It's map five losses. The only thing is it's, teams it's two teams that like they want to get, well, I guess Miami's fifth seed, but like the Vegas win, like they could have put themselves at 170, 180 points. It yeah. maybe just been out of this mess a bit, had a little bit more room. Yeah. They're very much still in it where they have to find wins. Well, kind of like we talked about, like for this match, like you win, you're in winner's bracket. Uh, I know there's the bigger picture, obviously, with champs, but yeah, no, I think you're right. You, you, that's where it's probably more painful than a lot of uh, game five losses when you're like, that was our chance to like, not, not stress. Maybe, yeah. but maybe it's good for them. Like, it feels like the pressure is yeah, polishing them a little bit right now. Like it's had them locked in. They're up against it. I think that's true for a lot of these teams that are trying to battle from the middle of the pack. So maybe it's not the worst thing. Keep the pressure on. No, I, I guess improving. it's true. It's just, yeah, you, you, you hope to, uh, you know, I guess you, you're trying to catch the Miami Heretics and then obviously Vegas Legion trending in the, the right direction. That's a big part of this. And yeah, we're talking about Major Four. That is next weekend. A lot of teams around, what, three and three, a four and three. Vegas is three and two. Still some teams 
Is someone did it in at a three and four? Well, I, the, I think the thing that's most interesting is uh, Joe and I had a convo like two weeks ago before, you know, Optic lost three straight. That was sort of like, I think any other year, that miracle run for a team to maybe get like a top top four or top three seemed pretty feasible. Like things can click, you can make that run. It didn't seem that feasible this year because it's been pretty, you know, we know who's getting top four. Uh, that's how it's been. But now if Optic ends up starting at losers, like that's one more opening. Like it's gonna end up being a weirder bracket than we've had. No, that's just it. Uh, I mean, yeah, what the bracket's gonna look like tomorrow, it's, are you not, are, is it top 14? Did it have an, a, a round one matchup? Right? Yeah. Or if Optic's out of it, yeah, you're going to avoid one of those or, teams. Yeah, yeah. No, or one of these teams who's desperately trying to get a champs qualification suddenly has to go through Optic in the loser's bracket early. Like, lit. <laughs> that <laughs> like is that, true. Like, that's a year. Uh, yeah. I, I imagine. You're like, we're doing it, boys. We're clicking. Oh, we're playing the team that just won the last tournament. Loser's round two. Like, awesome. Or loser's round one. Yeah, loser's round one. Like, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to happen. Like, more than likely. Unless, well, we'll see. But into round one of the search and destroy now. Diamond trying to stay up far side. Hook, well, right back to it. Able to push, get somebody all the way back in spawn. And that's, I mean, difficult to do, obviously, when you're kind of playing that passive hold on the offensive side. He just pushes up and wins a one-on-one, -on -one, though. Okay, able to catch Estriel, and we've just been seeing a lot of that, where the offensive teams are staying very patient, middle of the alley, waiting for those pinches, but who able to win that gunfight? Bomb is planted, though. How does Seattle want to retake this? Ooh. You get aggressive if you are Fame and Diamond, John. On the other side, though, Flames is picked, and then right away, you just trust in your teammates to look over you. Diamond, John, though, did a jump <laughs> out for this, but there's enough time. And Abuza stayed alive. Yeah. He doesn't get the kill. It wouldn't matter. This is another player, but that looks so hard from his side. Like him coming off the bomb, the animation of it. Renetti gets a little windy. <laughs> doesn't matter at the end of the day. But no, I just thought I was surprised like Hook just got one up and won that one on one. Because even we saw like what Faze yesterday versus Ultra. Ultra were playing that passive offense. Faze did like a four man hit up the middle on defense, and they didn't get a kill. Like all four of them got chopped down. Hook able just waltz up. Get yeah, that early it's a double chow. That's like the only thing normally I, I you know, we've even seen Fame and Estriel kind of be the two man game in that middle alley. Uh, but this time just catches the timing and able to win that one on one. And Ooh. gets two more. Yeah, I mean, he gets three in the round. Um, and, you know, we've talked about him being a, a streaky player. I mean, that could, that could be across the series. He just starts hot and he's going to have one of those dominant ones. That might be the case here. He is so fun to watch when he's playing well. Already up to the 3 0 start off the 35 kill map one. We're out here quick. Trophy coverage. Bomb getting planted. What will the timing be like on the smoke retake opportunity? Here we go. It's a stun deep first. That'll keep two obey. Now the smoke comes in. One tag through. Hook right into the chaos. Trying to find an opening. Thought he did for a second, but then he falls. A four may be in trouble as well. No! It's Gorillas finding all the kills. We're shaking. We're baking. It's all on Prezi. Now one versus three. See you later round LAG. Magic Man and El Diablo through the smoke right there. Yeah, I mean, that is just uh, kind of a bomb site on six star. Yeah. I mean, that's like my only complaint with this like map and mode. Like it's it plays so well, but then there's just that. Yeah, and, put a trophy down. That's really it. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's only round two. Your only player who got kills was who you had one trophy on the Seattle side. Well, Nobody I mean, even with, it. like, I mean, the trophy sometimes was a position to pick that up. It ends up getting shot because it might be open to I, I, We've only seen the trophy pick that up a handful of times, at least when we've casted it. Well, I but. think that's why we've seen a lot more teams be patient on offense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were not. They just went for it. But that's like the one thing I just like that. It's just chaos. I mean, it can be funny to commentate. I had a blast with that, but it's like, oh, my God. Like, we're just, no one's seeing. There's just bullets everywhere. Like, <laughs> it's a tornado. Blister. Yeehaw. <laughs> Early fights. Brezzy is able to get two. Fame and Flames get kills as well as Brezzy gets, he's going through it. Flames is, his stun just got a kill. Yeah, sure did. One HP and <laughs> just <laughs> HP. catching the fastball. What is going on? Right this, to the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Bomb down mid map. Honestly, it looks like we have like, what was like the old mode you guys play like demolition? What was the one where it was like a middle, a middle thing you had to capture and take it back? What was the mode? A uh, war? Was it War? Is that one I'm thinking of? Maybe, yeah. I don't know if it was Halo or Ka that I'm thinking of. It's like a, he had like a middle objective. You like take it to the opposite site. Or I just made up a game mode in my head maybe <laughs> too. Right? That could happen. I've been around since the dinosaurs. But now Diamond Con, he had a nutty 1v3 clutch on this map earlier in the year. See if he can do it here in a one versus two. 
04 and Abuza, the ones that try and shut him down. Yeah, I mean, he's just, oh, I can't, depending on this, did Abuza see him? I don't know if he saw him, maybe he thought he did, but Abuza chows, and then 04 goes to the bomb, so you're not on the same page. Diamond John, though, with the smoke, gonna have to check this, and 04 just kind of baits it out. No, that was perfectly done, because, like, he got the kill so far from the bomb, so you know he's stressing. Like, he has to get back. Like, I... The kill so far, the smoke makes him stress even more. Like, he's got to check it. Well played by 04. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah, 04 and Abuza should... You want to try to do something together? Oh, oh, for sure, for, for sure. sure. But like, it worked out. I mean, it, it created kind of an easy scenario there for 04 in some ways. I mean, there's obviously ways to lose that, but he's like, <laughs> okay, he's 50 yards from bomb. I got to smoke. Good luck. I uh, smoked, yeah. I'm going to just... I mean, yeah, he has to sprint back. <laughs> Tries to. 04 gets him, though. Hook's still 3-0. Through all this chaos, two one advantage. Oh, now I think the scoreboard's messing you up. Oh God, it's in the gas. Let's yeah, say, actually like, say, how 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 was he? Because only he did the retake. You Thank you. There we go. Three and two. They got you. Come on, scoreboard. <laughs> one day we'll have the modern technology of a correct scoreboard. It'll be twenty thirty five. No, it was actually every year. <laughs> oh <laughs> well, one. never mind. Never. We need to go back in time. We're time traveling. Uh, four. Working on the plant. Abuza out of it. 4v3 advantage now for Gorillas. And numbers are hard. Hi. Oh! Diving is a second after that. I don't know how he snaps on 04, but he does. Say, who kept Ooh. going, and that is the retake. Ooh. I thought maybe with Hook getting out from that position, finding a pick, turning into a three on three, maybe there was a quick trade from 04, but we didn't see it. But Diamond John. It's a nasty double to give them the round. Beautiful there from LAG, Diamond Con. Some nice plays. And I mean, he was the one, I think, kind of kind of hard carry for them to map one when everyone else was struggling. He was putting in work. Nice little snap. Yeah, I don't know if Fort's trying to reposition there. Looks well, like he his maybe head got repositioned. Yeah, like maybe he was trying to go on that like ledge. It looks like he got caught. I think if he's just prone there. Probably finds the kill. Yeah, he just snaps, and I think it's a little bit of flinch, and nice little snap just directly onto his eyeball. <laughs> just gets deleted. 2-2, Two -two, though. So we continue on. It's fast, and it's furious. Over towards A, but we slow down here for a second, just waiting for any utility through on the cross. But Estriel's gotten pushed out. He's gotten pushed out deep, so you've got a lot of info now. You know it's all coming through mid, at least for now. Because what, you're peeking back alley push on the flank if you're diamond. They're seeing nothing. And that's because it's all right up the gut. Here they go. The chaos ensues. Who will be left standing at the end of the mixer? And it is nobody on Seattle because it's four straight kills after that first blood. Is LAG line them up? It just cracks me up because outside of these two teams, like I feel like we've been watching like New York and FaZe. Miami, like some of these other teams are really taking their time, being very slow. Like this reminds me of Six Star, like week one and two. It feels like these two are just like, ah, let's just plant bombs and retake. Yeah. 20 seconds into the round. That might be a difference between like good search teams and not as good search teams. I think these are both just solid search teams. They're just playing at a different pace right now. Well, they've improved a lot. Yeah, I mean, well, there have been times this year. It's definitely not been true for Gorillas, but. Yeah, I guess Seattle, despite the roster, it battled, but you know, you're not wrong. I just feel like you're right. It slowed down quite a bit, and they just want to hit it. Just run right to the middle of the map. <laughs> Brezzi, some tags through. Wants to chase it, but it gets a little scary. Oh, no, sweet child of mine. Oh. Will he get another? He sure will. Brezzi from the chaos walks away with two. I thought he was dead to rights. Diamond gives him a chance to bring it back, though. Yeah, Diamond's on five in a row. So even worst case scenario, if you don't win this round, maybe you're looking for that streak. They're thinking this is still an A hit, but now they're going to know this is a ro rotate out. They don't really have much info. Did they go through your spawn, their spawn? Fame's on one side, Diamond on the other, but now you have to retake towards B. Yeah, this is a scenario where you get an early pick. Maybe you play for it. If not, then maybe you just try to set Diamond up for one. Just try to get him number six. It's gonna be so difficult to retake. Get some tags in. So I thought he set him up beautifully, but 04. Oh, ah, a little straight 
goes vertical, pops him with the Renetti. No streak there for Diamond Cut. I, I assumed, I mean, you saw Fane put in some shots. I mean, I, I'm imagining he's weak heading towards him. Or at least just, yeah, just not expecting that. But 04, I think, just hits. I, I, I'm going to assume just a chow, like a, a burst and then a burst on through. But Brezzy, no fear through the smoke and then able to that catch a second. timing then there on the second one. Lord help you. That was brutal. But yeah, the streak ends there for Diamond. We go to 3-3. And now we'll see kind of a little two-man game working out for info at B, but slowing it down a little bit right now are LAG. But you're hunting mid-map of your Seattle Surge. You've got a lot of info through mid. This is very reminiscent of round one. The only difference is you don't have sort of Estro by himself through the middle of the map. But now they're just going to try to go to B. And the middle setup pays off. I mean, that's the great thing about having middle on most maps. You have the cross <laughs> to the bomb sites. It's just not usually that <laughs> that free. Where no, you just they get might have to go through the pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, 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 get caught there. But bomb is still planted. Flames is able to find one. It's still winnable. A lot of this is going to depend on them syncing up. And you slowly start to work back if you are Flames. Now all three here around bomb. Abuza has hopped on it, so pressure now on Gorillas to get him off of this. They're able to do it. Nice little peek there from Diamond Con. Poop, he's tagged up. He gets dropped. It's down to a one versus one. 20 to go. Brezzy, Flames. Tagged. Oh, I thought he was dropped, but Brezzy, he's a magician yet again. Wins it. There have been some wild Renetti kills throughout the course of this one. No, there really has, because I feel like when we see some crazy, like, just turn-ons or someone's getting just destroyed it's usually because they stop shooting with the Renetti they get lost with it and what well, we've had 04 Brezzy now just with great composure in between these bursts well I mean you think you get like two bullets in before you chow here for LAG like flames hits him with like a bullet or two down to like 110 I think it was he's thinking oh, I've got him weak I'll just fly out and then just pop pop his brains in the pool yeah nobody wants that no oh. Seattle Surge now take over. Brezzi, who's on a tear, he's eight and five, and the streak is coming in from up top. What can he locate? Not going to hit. But he's worked up with three people here under the site. Hook, likely the one to be the playmaker, or get, need to get there in time if he's gonna stretch across, but the nades are able to combo together. And they're getting picked apart. Hook might be here too late. Will he get there in time? Can Brezzi stay up for Hook to get here? He has. Brezzi stayed alive. Well, Hook stunned. now in. One in the smoke. Hits of the stun. Slides on through. All down to Brezzi. Can he clutch again? He snaps. But now Flames gets revenge. And it's just the Renetti player that's winning the fight. I mean, that stun was so big for Hook because Flames is prone watching that. But obviously the slide, he's not going to catch up to him with his aim. Allows Hook to get the player onto the bomb. But... Flames gets the trade, ready for the next gunfight. And, and I think you just want a little bit more behind that cruise. Maybe not finding a kill, but the problem is you use that so early in the round. As soon as it's done, you still have to plant the bomb, right? You have to plant the bomb. LAG, they rotate on through. But there we see from Flames, that, yeah, Brezzi just shoots. He's been so clutch for them throughout this map. I mean, he Flames snapped. Gets one there. He snapped pretty well. Just obviously not getting first shot in that scenario, but... If it was like shaky Renetti shots, he gets that kill. It just wasn't. No one finding any separation in this one. 4-4. Four, four. A bit more aggressive on the A site right now from Seattle Surge. It was all mid-map control last defense. Hook is able to find the first blood, and that's some beams there. That's a great nade. To combo with the nade from Estriel. Beautifully done. One already threw on the flank, though. What can 04 find? Can't get away because the stun is going to connect. Quickly, it's Brezzy. Last alive again. Another opportunity to maybe clutch. The timing, I thought, so good, but can't quite finish it. Well, yeah, I mean, Fame and Estro were going to B, and then they wrap back to A, and that gave him the timing to, to find the info there. He would have had no clue they were going to B. Now he's going to hang out by this very beautiful waterfall and just relax. I like that, Joe. It seems very relaxing. When we go on vacation together, can we relax together under a waterfall? I'm not sure if there's one there. Well, we can find one. Yeah, we can find a waterfall. Every state legally has to have a waterfall. Brezzy now, one versus two. 
and they are hunting. They got the spot and chase him down, not able to get anything done. Bryce, he's had some brilliant moments, but no chance for one there. Yeah, I mean, you try to get aggressive there. Does Seattle surge? Abuzin, who's sort of the two-man game, they just kind of go fly on through towards security. Trades were going pretty well until that nade connects onto Abuza. And then they were just trying to buy time for 04. 04 able to find one on that flank, but the stun again. The stuns have been clutch. Yeah, I don't know if he would have got out if he wasn't stunned, but I think he had a chance to. Yeah, would have bought time. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe, maybe gets around the corner. Yeah, survives a bit, dances a little, but yeah, stun makes sure he can't go anywhere. But no one, I feel like, has been able to win like back to back rounds really much at all throughout this. So Seattle Surge. Now you try to go. Get this to around 11. B, for now, wide open. You're aggressive on defense of your gorillas, though, so you know the gig is up. So there will be a quick kind of transfer over here for Diamond, but he's going to be the only one for now. Plant on through. And now, I thought as far as push up, they kind of rotation would come earlier, but they're thinking maybe it's just a slow push. Oh, Jebediah. Dude, everybody's in stunned. Brezzy just able to reposition. Astral Flames gonna start the retake. Smoke's going down. Everybody trying to finesse. O4 just playing his life around the bomb, but he gets caught. Trying to be a little bit too cheeky. Now it's a two on two. Oh my God, couldn't trade it. Seattle Surge able to get the round to around 11. We now go. Is this has been a fun one. Just coming down to a lot of 1v1s, 1v2s, clutch little scenarios. And chaos with smokes. We've Somehow, Brezzy's got Brezzy here. You got all the way to this point. The magic man. Kind of does look like a magician, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, he probably is a magician. Like, I guarantee that guy is, like, good with cards. Like, when I see Brezzy, I think, like, I can't even, like, shuffle. Shuffle well. He definitely can shuffle cards super well. I can tell. Like, he spent time dealing it, like, in Vegas or something. I know it. <laughs> Round 11 now. Off it's well, again for from, Seattle Surge. France, so. Whatever, yeah, 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 casinos there. The Vegas of France. Bomb plant going through. You get it down clean if you're Seattle Surge. A little info there for Brezzi. As he's just trying to get away. But as he backs up, and you take the four on three here. That looks to be the fly hoop. Another first blood, but instantly trade out. Abuza with two. Might be the difference. Another two on one and down to fame. Trying to make the play, not gonna happen. It slips away for LHE. No one was able to get back-to-back -back rounds until Surge does it on offense late, and they get the map victory. Just pain for LAG and a 2-0 edge for Seattle. Yeah, and LAG, as soon as they spot Brezzy, they're thinking he's gonna try to wrap. They pretty much know he's out of the fight, so their call is let's go. They're, they're trying to just flood on through Use that smoke. They think they have the numbers advantage. They do. It's just they lose one right away, right at the entrance of the smoke. Seattle Surge, they, like, between Hook, you know, four, they play with these smokes very well. Yeah, it also, like, listen, we talk a lot about, I mean, numbers advantage is big. It is. And first bloods are big. But it's also Call of Duty, and it's very fast, and you die instantly. So <laughs> numbers advantage can go away, away real, real quick. And it certainly did there. You're feeling good about the retake, and then it falls apart. Brezzy. A lot of clutch opportunities, some he was able to take advantage of. Fact is, he drops double digits, gets to nearly 2,200 damage. It was Hook, map one. It was Brezzy here. I mean, Hook still puts up nine, and honestly, he had, like, the clean first blood round one. He probably... The other three, I think, were probably instantly traded, but he was dictating a lot of it early on. Yeah, I mean, four first bloods for him, three on the other side for Fame. Just a great back-and-forth game throughout that six-star. Okay, just a little bit different than what we've been seeing from uh, from our other teams. Oh, just, hitting it, hitting just going. It. Yep. Playing the bomb within the first 20 seconds. They're not at this site. Let's go. Lots of retakes. And as you said, Seattle Surge able to put it together. Yeah, I mean, they're up 2-0. Well. Um, you know, you're back-to-back 3-0 victories if you're LAG. But right now, maybe in trouble of, uh, I don't know, getting back to what we've kind of expected from them as of late. Like, they weren't looking a lot strong, and now it seems like it was clicking. I really thought this was going the entire distance. Granted, that map, too, was very, very close. You never but know. Now you got to bring it back, and it's got to happen through control. Unfortunately, that's where LAG have also struggled to click at any point this year. It's been the control that's really struggled for them. So we'll see. Can Seattle end it here? Can Christopher Puckett clean up all the confetti mess that he made? Is Joe DeLuca the love of my life? All these answers and more after the break.
upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. SCUF Gaming is doing an ultimate giveaway where you and a friend can win a chance to go to COD Champs this year. The giveaway includes two VIP tickets, travel expenses, and more. To enter, scan the QR code on the page or go to scuff.co slash CDL and enter your email. Terms and conditions apply. The Call of Duty Week is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL. Everybody and welcome back. Uh, right now, Seattle in the driver's seat looking for one more map victory, and they'll handle this one in a 3-0 fashion. They're close. They've, uh, what, had a couple of Game 5 losses. They're not wanting to go the distance again, I imagine. See if they can close it out. Yeah, I think for them, uh, just, again, a, a team they think they should probably beat with sort of their upward trend. Just get those 10 more points, put themselves at 170. 
and then focus on the major. Yeah, because they get to 170, I mean, well, you're, you're guaranteeing yourself a spot for winners. We're thinking more than likely from a prediction standpoint, you might be okay for champs too. I mean, what the cutoff was, they were thinking 165, somewhere in there, right? Yeah. So maybe you're okay, but then maybe. But there's a lot you'll get from this. Extra 10 points and then see what you're able to do at the major, but you're starting to click at the right time. Abuza has really stepped up his game in that position. Hook has had his moments. And while well, we just watched Brezzi, the magic man, have some of his own. But can they close it out here as we get into the control on Karaji? 04's POV to kick us off. Yeah, I mean, I think just the addition of 04 it really solidified their, their search, just consistency. and. He's been so versatile, it's allowed Brezzi to run that main AR. And now you got a great start here on control. Brezzi running the rival to start. They a little bit of a different breakout, trying to put a pressure on this objective. He's moving and grooving until he's not. Finally chopped down, but nice stretch here with a four life advantage for Seattle Surge. They came out and they are hitting. Yeah, a little jump peek, like good luck coming to the blender. I've got a rival, my name's Hook, and I'm holding the back alley. They instantly turn tail and wrap it back towards A. So this is going to be a B capture. Nice little opening there from Seattle. Yeah, great little break off, run multiple subs, and pretty much just say, let's get the close junk spawn if we can and continue to flood this. Now you have a 4 on five in a row. Trying to find number six just gets caught, but you're on the objective. You're trying to have a quick round here. I think we haven't seen a lot of that. We're like, you know, like an invasion. You see like that early A hit, like much where it's just, we're taking B right away, like well, where it's calculated. I mean, yeah, at times we, we've seen it, but not where Not, it not usually out. with a break off set around it though, either. Like, like where it's multiple rivals and you're just kind of hidden. I feel like it's like you get to A, you get three, nine, like, okay, let's go now. That was just, I don't know, they were just going for B. Or you're right. When they do, it doesn't work out as well. Yeah, usually it's just a guy top AC yeah, watching yeah, yeah. across. And if you get one pick there, that's it. They don't, though. And they get through a fierce Seattle surge. And it's a fast one. Great strike there on offense like lightning. They are done quickly. But that's one of the faster beat captures you're going to see on Karachi. Nice little strat there to get them going. And uh, I mean, you're, all, you're also just winning gun fights. I think Astro was 0 5 throughout this round, so LAG need to step it up. We'll see if they can fire back on offense, but I mean, this is the one map where you've got the best chance really to get going offensively, certainly in our control rotation. But Estriel, he's just looking for his first, as you said. Let's see what the break off looks like for Gorillas, just more standard out towards that. The end of the point instantly. Estriel also on the board instantly as he rallies back to get in. Can't really get anywhere. As Hook is still here, it's another multi kill for Hook. It feels like it's 75th of the series. <laughs> yeah. And again, just sort of the maps have played out the type of play style that he wants. Just being aggressive on Vista. Same thing here in Karachi. A lot of the six star play through these smokes and through the middle of the map. That is, that's Hook. What, second tick now done there. One fight back alley. Flames is maybe looking for a one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately, he's greeted with a stun, so he doesn't really get anywhere. Uh, minute extension about to go through. Estriel now up to three and six. We'll see what kind of timing he gets. Beautiful. I was wondering, like, if he looks right for a second or more there, maybe Hook's going to end up getting in behind him, but it works out well for Estriel. Now you start to... Plot this push. It's going to get thwarted though for a moment. It's get two through for Seattle. Yeah, that's really the problem though. It's like, yeah, he's getting kills the people off spawn, but then all of his teammates are dropping. So that's not going to turn into much. He's got to just rewrap re through the middle of the map, try to get in a red. You do get fame through, but again, it's three dead Hell, for the last player. Yeah, so let's say like fame wins a one on one. He's pressure on the point, but like instantly the rest die. It could have happened quicker. Centering on point there for a boost is a shot straight through to the noggin. And now you try to push out your cuts, get back towards mid if you're Seattle Surge and layer this again. So you've got to win in multiple fights if you're Gorillas to really get back on to B. They still have over a minute to work with. Lives are dead even, so still ample opportunity here for Gorillas to strike. Yeah, they do have right control. You can just leave the Brezzi junkyard side, ignore him, force him to come out back. That's going to be the play. They're looking for him. It looks like Flames is looking for him. Now who trying to stay up? Flames gets taken down. If Hook's able to find one, probably shuts down this attack, but you still have three here. Yeah, you can see the bar is moving real quick. Oh, it was for a moment there. It slows down a bit. You just have one on top of it. Abusa and Hook able to get kills. 
They'll reset this for now. You get so close to the second tick, but it's not quite there. But again, it's all pricey. He's on seven in a row. He got to one player trying to cut him off, then gets a player on the point, wraps back to junk, gets a player off spawn. Now he was able to earn that streak. He don't get the second tick, and he wants to go for it now just to give his team some map control and some info. And they're going for the 3-0 explosion. Hits, Diamond Con, gone. Players here for Seattle surge, and now 30 seconds remaining. It's an 8v6. Brezzy doing it with the missile, doing it with the Renetti. He's doing it all. One final opportunity really here in the works. We'll see if they can do it. Prone and waiting is L4. Two kills through for LAG. Gets a little bit ugly here for a second. Three are going to fall. One player really left up for Seattle to try and get shots in. But he's going to be held at bay. Second tick is now done. 18 on the clock. Seattle's all funneled through one position. I think LAG in the last second have done it. And that is Karachi. You yep. can play That's the a good way to put it, 99 percent of the round so, so well. And they do just that. The problem is, is the only player really in position was 04. One player drops around him. He doesn't want to overpeat, doesn't want to challenge the doorway. So he prones, is only able to get one, and then his teammates drop around him. As soon as he's taken out, there's three players alive for LAG around the point. Incredible stretch there from Gorillas to tie us up at 1-1. One, one. And yeah, I mean, you went for it with the streak of your surge. You had the chance to well, not close out the map, but you take a 2-0 edge. You're obviously in a much better con condition to get it done. Just can't quite go for the jugular. And now an opening for Gorillas. But last time, the offense was beautiful from Seattle Surge. They were done with the swiftness. This time, a little more of a standard setup, and Flames is shooting 4 HP, but wins the fight against Brezzi. Well, you did force a couple players to go B-side. This time through, right? That's why Flames already junks out Junkyard, but doesn't matter. Does not matter at all, because all the kills go in the way of LAG. Yeah, I think it was like an early four-life advantage last time for Seattle. This time flipped on its head. So you kind of slow the roll offensively for Surge. They've got to think through how they want to attack. You give them some power positions. If you are Gorillas, Estriel is shooting like that. And once again, all four are dead. Now it's five straight for Flames. A chance for him to maybe get a streak. And you get a hold here. What looks so dominant from Surge, what could have been a 2-0 advantage. He might be suddenly looking at a 2-1 lead for Gorillas, and they're in control. Yeah, I mean, they've just really stepped up. Estriel as well. What, he started 0-5. Now he's, what, 11 and 10? Something around there. So really stepped it up the last two rounds. Fame's locking this down. They have not given up a tick. You still have Estriel top three. Forcing a Seattle Surge to go coop side. As you talked about it, Estriel gets another double. He has turned it around massively. 13 and 11 now for Estriel. Shutting it down, not leaving any opening. Last ditch effort now through for Surge. Three flying in. Estriel, another multi-kill. I think Estriel is just popping off. You've got eight straight from Flames. We didn't see a lot of the kills from the LAG view, but they were finding them. Yeah, no, I mean, Estriel was just top three. Dropped down Coop's side. He was able to find a double. Jumps back up. Cutting off the middle alley. Found another two. Seattle Surge just from the start. Could not get out of their base. Impressive turnaround here for LAG. This was... Two seconds away from being 2-0 surge. Instead, now it's 2-1 for Gorillas. Flipped on its head real quick, right? 20 and 10 for Flames. Eight streak. Now you go for it on offense. You were in such a good position if you were Seattle. Can you just close this one out? Back-to-back -back map live losses. You're hoping to get a clean one here, but Gorillas do not go want to go down without a fight. Good little opening so far from them. Just pressure onto the opening objective. Brezzi's going to get picked early. He was big junk side throughout their, their defensive hold until it fell apart. This time, not in position early. Yeah, now you're just hoping to catch Seattle and then kind of have one of those transition plays that we kind of talk about over towards B, but won't happen. Can you get done with A? They're going to go for this. Now it's two dead. If Estriel finds one here, they might just fly. He hit some really bad timing on the Brezzi. And all of his teammates go down. It's Hook and Brezzi. Hook with a triple. Says, all right, let's slow this game down. Yeah, no, you saw a building for Gorillas. There was the opportunity maybe to, to pounce, but Surge holding for now. Hook right into the mix. Estriel, though, 
ready for it now. To Prezi's playground. He's back inside a jump. Doesn't look like it'd be a safe playground for children. There's a car on fire. But Prezi can't really find anything. Fame there to back it up as well. That had a lot of like rusty pointy things. No, no, it just, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said his playground, because that looks like a very dangerous playground. <laughs> but now, <laughs> Gorillas. Still here with the pressure. Just trying to get these kills through and then cross, but it's a perfect, efficient trade. It's just the fact that you have the close spawn now if you're Gorillas, so you can keep on hitting it, hitting it, hitting it over and over again. You have a three life advantage as well. 04 can't quite finish the kill. Shots a little high there with the Renetti. Now this is the pressure that you're just talking about. Just going. You have the numbers if you're LAG, but it's a team nade from Flames on the Diamond Top. But watching the cutoffs was fame. Seattle Surge have dealt with this, but they're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, it's it's not really the same as their last defensive hold, but it's gonna be similar from the standpoint of. You've held really well. Can you do it to the clock is done? Because <laughs> you're going to have to hold a lot of pressure. Since they have the close spot, keep doing it over and over again. Problem's going to be lives too, right? If LAG are trading well and they have close spawns, they're just going to keep reinforcing. And right, for the most part, it's been like literally just every other kill on the kill feed. Like, yeah. It's just been the definition of trading. You need like a little stretch where you get, if you get another clean wave from Seattle, you're probably in a great spot, but can you do that? Tries to avoid the day and get the kill. Fame just starts popping off with his fist. Abusa with the trade, can't snap back in time. Now you're onto it and stopping the clock. Six lives remaining, now down to five. LAG, they can taste the win here. Another one for Estriel. Wow, he has stepped up after that round one. No respawns left, Abusa's out of it. It's moving slow, they only have one player here. That's a nice nade. But, but someone's got to get there. They, they, they know that Seattle Surge have to just play, pretty much play perfect. So they're just setting up. They're pretty much watching over Estriel. And just like that, it was looking so comfortable for Surge. You blink, you get up real quick, and it's a 3-1 for LAG. I mean, hell of a job there from LAG, yeah, because you get kind of put in a body bag that first round. You're in the blender throughout most of the second round. But then you start to take over. Things start flowing your way. He had a grueling round 11 loss in the map too. And now you're right back to it and you'll see how deep you can push this series. These 10 points so crucial to either side. You got a little life left in you if you're LAG. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, as impressive as the round two offensive, you know, win was, that round three defense was perfection. Just putting them in that trap. Seattle had nothing to give. Absolutely, yeah, I mean, that's just, that was a tale of like two halves, however you want to call it, like, God. LAG just come alive, start to take over. Estriel, Flames both go on wild stretches. We'll take a look at some of the highlights before we're ready for the map four. Where we head next, Joe? Yeah, hey, Rio, and I think this is a great opportunity for, for LAG to keep this going because Seattle Surge, this has not been one of their go-tos in hardpoint, one in five on the year. It's not like this has been great for LAG. We've only played it five times, but two and three. I feel like one of the first times we've seen Flames was on this map, so... Gotta be feeling good, GR Gorillas. We'll see. I mean, also, I mean, Hoop kind of popped off of that map one. He's been shooting straight throughout the course of the series. Like, I feel like Rio's one where, if he gets into his flow, another one where he can be devastating, but... Also, it can be very difficult. <laughs> has some of Rio as well. No, it can't, yeah, it's just one where there's just a little bit more teamwork needed. Like, you, it's just, it feels like Vista, if you spawn out, like, you just be quickly right back to the hill. Rio, you should really get punished. Yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. Like, it seems like it's, like, not that big of a map, but, like, it is, just because the spawns make sense most of the time. <laughs> you can absolutely punish people, and we'll see if LAG can take advantage of that, or if it will be the Seattle Surge side, how the series has looked so far, maybe if you're joining us late. Seattle in control, LAG, bring it back, take the 3-1 victory there. They got to get the Rio hardpoint victory to get us to a map five. But yeah, we're at that point. Every match matters. I mean, it's just, it's crazy because like typically for most of the year, like, uh, you know, we cast that phase Toronto match. Like that'd be one 
I'd really be looking forward to. It's one of like your big matches, but like that's like one of the least important right now, just because all the focus is on the middle of the pack and the lower teams. Like face ultra, all right, it'll probably maybe it'll be in the final. We'll see it a bit, but like it's everybody yeah. else, right? Like it is. It's yeah, no, crazy. It's, it's these guys, and I don't. I mean, I'm just impressed by LAG. Like they're just level headedness. Like Nameless was saying he, on the desk, the way they every inter interview just is like, yeah, we just kind of we we know what we have to do. Just very level headed, very calm. Here is a, a look at the overall standings on the year these two teams and like we talked about four-way tie eight through 11 at 140 and this is yeah this is why this is the conversation and, you know face and ultra you know we cast that like it wasn't as big of a deal it was a great series there were a lot of wild stuff that happened but like all that matters right now is everything else like who the hell's going to get in like and like I, well typically i'd say you know, I would put Optic into that equation of like their matches not being that big of a deal. But now with them maybe being in a loser's bracket start and being like that wall that's in front of one of those teams at the tournament, like that gets more interesting too. So like this has been kind of a crazy just qualifier stage. It really has. Yeah, imagine they sneak in and like an eight seed. And you have like a 1v8, like an ultra optic round one. I mean, I hope, I kind of hope that's the case. Like for the bracket's sake in a way, like what would be worse? It'd be worse if they start losers, right? Oh, or one's well, gonna go, if they're 18, one's gonna go to the losers bracket, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. It's more just like crazy thinking about them being there, but uh, the hard point over stage four for Seattle Surge. They're ranked third right now, six and four. You can see first in mini of the stats coming into today, and I'm all probably just building on those based on how the map one went. Yeah, I'm only one now, seven and four, and that's sort of been part of their turnaround. Pretty much around 50-50, but with that, been a little bit higher. They're able to find some of these upsets, some of these big wins, and why we're talking about them being a threat towards the end of the year. Yeah, because no one's like really been that dominant in like hard point. I, I mean, like phase has been kind of 50-50-ish right now. Ultra like, is number one, yeah. Ultra, Ultra been like the only team that have, like everyone else is kind of, either struggling around that 50-50 line. It's just crazy. I guess I'm just, them being sixth and four and third looks kind of wild to me. It's like, it's not like that that good, but it's just we're speaking to the rest of the competition right now because there have been some absolute battles. But Seattle Surge, can they close it out on Rio? The police are here. On the map. On the map, on the map, yes. No, I'm not being arrested, I don't think. It was 04, or sorry, it was Hoop with that like 3 0 start in the map one. He really is, or sorry, 4 0, and just got grouped behind that. It's going to be 0 4, that's really popping off early. But as uh, we talk about that, he's going to get dropped. Hoop fell right back, and well, there it is. There's his 4 0. So I lied. Okay, so we got a 4 0 start in map one. He gets a 4 0 start here. Hoop does what he wants. Yeah, just controlling the middle of the map. Now you get Brezzy going, trying to make him play, but you will take these 40 seconds all day if you are Seattle Surge. Yeah. Forcing LAG to just have to rotate. Play in for these good spawns. Hooch able to snap, just loses flames. Then MCW, Abuza up next. Trying to find Diamond John, and there's gonna be immediate pressure. Spawns being blocked. You see where Fame spawns. Are they gonna read this though? I don't think so. And well, that's gonna turn uh, Diamond John and Fame taking everybody down. Yeah. I, Everything was a kind of block. They spawn on top of each other, kind of right. Like, well, you always spawn boxes. Yeah, you yeah, spawn yeah. alleys. <laughs> they're blocking the back. The other teams in the spawn boxes just don't have that read. But it doesn't matter. So Seattle did back spawns, and now it's a four dead for them. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, everything opened up because everybody died. <laughs> And then they were able to hit a quick get right back in. You only enjoy 11 seconds of that time if you're Gorillas. And now you're trying to push up and lead again. But the three straight through, nobody holding second really early till Prezi says, no, no, no. And he locks it down. I thought I had an opportunity there for LAG, but Prezi there, the bailout, the yeah, play. And again, talking about like Miami and their improvement. Yes, Real coming into play has been huge, but also just the role changes, how much better medals is looked. It is a similar story here with the way Brezzy has looked on the AR. Just so consistent for them, and there is another break into this P4. And I love it, too, because, you know, we always want to have more, more, I would love more German players, French players, Spanish players, like, more international players. I love it, but, like, it's awesome. Yeah, you have a Spanish player coming in, making a big impact, French player coming in, making a big impact, and you're seeing these teams improve. But it's Gorillas that are trying to improve right now, because they're getting bodied. I lost the first hard point by about 90 down throughout the entire game and you're set yourself up for that same sort of blender where you're just chasing constantly. You're playing from behind. And this almost has seemed worse because at least like map one, it was a lot of breaks from Surge, like a ton of breaks. For most part, it was like all out control. Well, you're kind of getting the same thing. It was a break at P2, now it's a break here at P3 early. And now if you're LAG, you have to rotate. 
and you have to kind of cash it here. This first push so important, I think, for LAG to try to slow down this arsenal of Surge. Yes, uh, they, they need time and they need it badly. So far, so good. Yeah, you like Warren too if you were Surge, but never really a big threat, but this is absolutely the moment. Gorillas need, if they're gonna push this to a map five, they've got to get things going. They got to get them going right now. The next big wave coming in from Surge. This time they're going to have numbers. Lots of pressure to Flames inside. Box is going to be able to shut him down. And once again, you're able to break if you're Surge. If it's not the first hit, it's the second. Like, you know, if you hold like the first two, you're probably at least getting half the time. But if you continue to break, at least on your second push, you're Seattle Surge, but you're winning, you're winning this map. You are. Well, yeah, they are. They are by 90 yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. As you look at rotation, Flames trying to get into a good spot, but it's not already desperation time where LAG are trying to fight for 15 or so seconds. Oh, four going on the route, able to catch that. So now it's just a 1v1 on rotation. Whoa. And who has got the info, able to snap. Now he's got the help from his teammate in Abuza. And they're almost going to win out. Well, they do win out with the help of 04. Yeah, I guess Astro getting two maybe allows them to kind of race back and get a presence here early. But just a nice play and stretch from Seattle Surge. Now back in control, Lee just growing second by second, up over the 150 mark, up 120. It is dominant so far. This team is clicking in the mode, showing why they're the third best through the qualifier. Gorillas just can't find anything. But Dennis Estrell, he's the only player positive, 15 in 11. He's able to find a double, but even when they're finding kills, they're still getting picked on the hill. Well, it's kind of similar to the map one. I think it was Diamond was like the only positive. The other three were negative. Um, and they just can't get a team effort going forward. And Hoop, once again, in his bag and a hard point. What, he was 35 and 25 in the map one? He's 18 and 11 right now. And he just has series like this where he can take over across any mode. Now, maybe you're, you're trying to last chance. You need to chain these two hills together. Yeah. Right? We, yeah. we had a, a solid 40 points for Seattle Surge off the break. Can they hold on now and, and start to chip away? Your two teammates are spawned out pretty far, though. They're trying to rally across. Lots of pressure to fame and flames. They're able to get three of the four, so you keep it kind of mixy. Of course. Oh. oh, I thought Hook was going to get all three of them. Like, okay, I'm just going to swallow all those words because none of them made any sense because Hook just did Hook like things again. But the fact that he's able to get two really gets you right back into the fight quickly. So maybe that clean stretch from one to two, like you thought was their chance for Gorillas, not necessarily the case. Yeah, Diamond John, though, goes on a pinch through boxes. So there's still 20 seconds left here. You see Diamond John spawns up. He's just going to rotate forward to this P2. Seattle Surge trying to fight through bridge side. So what, if you get the 10 seconds, you get the, if you can get a, let's just say, perfect hold here at two, you are in the swing of things. You're back within, what, 30, 40 points. But Seattle going for the jugular, looking to close out this series and put a little separation between them and the rest of the pack. Let's go to a list say now. Seattle's a booza is popping off. I'm Diamond Gun. Nice. I have a I'm I'm leaning hey, crime, I'm nice, nice. I'm leaning crime. One guy's banana. I'm leaning crime. Okay. I have a 12, I have a 12. I'm here, guys. Can you come together? Jump, jump, jump. 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 Jump, jump, He's I'm going to take my bit from time, guys. They need it. That's you, that's you. They need it. 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 They
The Cubs are flowing and the map is too close to the victory up 130 19 needed for the victory Joe any takeaways I mean it's been this has been Seattle surge all all split it's it's not the calm cool collected listen no, no, it's no. Hope, yelling intensity it's been working and I'm starting to love it. Yeah, I get, keep it going. Hey, he's fried, so he, let him say banana 18 <laughs> times. <laughs> I think you had like five straight from Brezzi. Abuza got five or six before he dropped. You just need one more break to close this out more than likely. You've had about 40 hard point breaks over the map, one in four. The setups from Gorillas have been paper thin. You've just cut through them. Except for this time. Is Astriel gets a triple. And you needed more of that though over the course of the map. Yeah, you need a lot more of it. Now you're just gonna spawn up near P5. You have flames. Potentially some really good timing here. Actually, they're gonna go for this. They're, they're gonna try to win here. They won't. They will, they will. They got the take? Yeah, I think they have it. Okay, so they've timed it well. Surge went here they and Brezzi wins it. the gun fight. They have it. Final tick in, map is over. The heads up play there from Seattle, Surge. Who goes for 30 plus in both the hard points? Listen, there might be some chaos in the surge. There might be some chaos in the comms. But Seattle Surge are getting dubs. It, it's working. Yeah. Again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But if it kind of puts him in a mindset well, of just focus and lock, that's all that really well, matters. Well, you're a fan of like listening to it. You're not a fan. Like if you were a player, you don't like that, right? No, I put my head in the wall. <laughs> 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 no doubt about it. But like I said, it's working. Yeah, yeah, keep it going. Don't change anything. Big win there. 5,000 damage, 31 from Hook. He was spectacular over the series, especially in the hard points, but felt like everybody had their moments. Honestly, I feel like there was a stretch where we were really, uh, you know, Abuza, Abuza, Abuza. He was the guy. Like, he was taking over, and he is a great map. He's 26 and 17, but, like, everyone has just stepped it up on the team around him. Yeah, I think Abuza really showed off at the major, so that will be the question next week. Just That's true. Who That's true. is going to continue to step up? Abuza was unreal at the land. Yeah. Uh, so it, hopefully he gets a little bit more help here. We'll see if they can do it. Some fantastic wins there. You win both hard points by around 100 points. You get a victory there after a couple of frustrating game five losses. You shut down a team that got hot in LAG after winning back-to-back 3-0 -back victories. We didn't think too much of the Boston Breach one, but then you beat, what, Vegas, and you're like, okay, well, this is a little bit more.